And let us discuss a name to reaction today, perking reaction or perking condensation. Actually, uh, this reaction or this condensation reaction was found by the William Henry Perking, and the, they mainly used this reaction in order to for, in order for the formation of a cinnamic acids. Actually, this is an organic reaction uh, used to convert an aromatic aldehyde and anhydride. We are taking an aromatic aldehyde and an anhydride, and they are converting into an alpha, beta, and saturated carboxylic acid. Actually, uh, it is an aldol con aldol condensation reaction which is taking place in between an aromatic aldehyde and an acid anhydride. The acid anhydride should be in such a way that it should contain alpha hydrogen. Then only the reaction will proceed out. And this reaction will take place in presence of an alkali salt of the uh, acid. That is very important. And the alkali salt act as a base catalyst here. And other bases can be used instead of the sodium acetate or potassium carbonate. But basically, the sodium acetate is mainly used. Here the reaction is given benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride. This is an aromatic aldehyde and this is our anhydride, acetic anhydride having 3 alpha hydrogen which is connected to alpha carbon. And here the base is sodium acetate and after that here bond is taking place to the carbon, carbon carbon new bond is formed here CH2COO, COCH3 and the hydrolysis is taking place here and after that you know, elimination of water means um, removal of water is taking place here from this compound okay from the removal of water is taking place here that is a dehydration and it had to undergo dehydration to form the cinnamic acid which is a more required product anyway this is the perking condensation the aromatic aldehyde and acetic anhydride in the presence of salt of here it is given in the presence of alkali salt of an acid you are getting the cinnamic acid as a product that is called the perking condensation yeah, one more example is given here this is uh, anhydride that is shown yeah, which is already discussed earlier and the main condition is that the acid anhydride should contain uh, or should have at least two alpha hydrogen we have taken the acetic anhy anhydride in the above example uh, definitely it consisting of uh, more than two alpha hydrogen that is it is attached to the ch3 acetic anhydride is attached to the ch3 Anyway, this is a general reaction given for you, but I think uh, the um, uh, example that I have already explained, I have already said you, that is uh, this example is uh, easy for you, so you just study that. The next is a benzoin condensation. Uh, this is a very simple reaction uh, which takes place in between the aldehydes, that is aromatic aldehyde undergo the self-addition reaction. Here you can see the two uh, benzaldehyde, that is the two aromatic aldehyde undergoing the self-reaction. Uh, it occurs in the presence of uh, two catalysts, mainly cyanide ion and the other is a thiamine hydrochloride. But here it is cyanide ion to give the products called the benzoin. This is a product called the benzoin. And further oxidized to form another product that is a benzyne. Okay. So benzaldehyde undergo the self-addition reaction to form a benzoin. That is called the benzoin condensation. Uh, by the removal of water it is forming in another product that is been otherwise called the benzyl and it is a diketone here a new carbon carbon bond is formed here in benzoin condensation a new carbon carbon bond is formed here therefore i can say that the con it is a condensation of two molecules of benzaldehyde to form a new carbon carbon bond as known as a benzoin condensation and basically the two catalysts are used in for this reaction cyanide ion and a thiamine hydrochloride First of all, I have shown here is a sodium cyanide that is in the presence of cyanide ion and here is an another example shown in the presence of thiamine hydrochloride. So the, these are the two catalysts which basically used for the benzoin condensation. But in uh, but basically if you are writing a reaction, you sh uh, you it's better that you show the catalyst as cyanide ion. And the next is a Novinagel reaction or Novinagel condensation. Actually, uh, it is a modification of aldol condensation reaction. You just follow me it is a reaction or it is a condensation reaction in which the nucleophilic addition of an active hydrogen compound you already is a study what is an active hydrogen compound in your or think in your module active methylene compounds and heterocyclic compounds okay so active methylene compound is act, uh, acting here as a nucleophile, nucleophile and this nucleophilic addition of an active hydrogen compound to a proper carbonyl group which is taken by you and it is followed by dehydration reaction in which a molecule of water is eliminated. That is why the reaction is called a condensation, why the water is getting eliminated. Anyway, the product is often an alpha beta conjugated enone, that is an alpha beta unsaturated compound. That is why we are saying that the Novinagel reaction is a modification of the aldol reaction. 
so i think uh, this um, uh, this minimum this method or uh, this equation will help you to understand more about this definition here i will say you that this will be easy for you here the uh, aldehydes or ketones when reacted with an active methylene compound that there are different types of active methylene compounds some of them is given here either it may be malonic acid diethyl malonate cyanoacetic ester and acetoacetic ester i think uh, all these active methylene compounds are familiar for you anyway uh, two of them is given here diethyl malonate and malonic acid is given here and anyway if aldehydes or ketone is reacted with this uh, active methylene compound the nucleophilic addition will take place thus active methylene compound uh, undergo the nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl group and forms an alpha beta unsaturated compound and the active you should um, note that the active hydrogen compound uh, should be of the form z to c ch2 z the two z groups should attach to the methylene group and what is the importance of this z z is an electron should be an electron withdrawing group why the z should be an electron withdrawing group just because if the z must be an powerful uh, then it enough or the z must be powerful enough to facilitate deprotonation to the enolate ion even with a mild base then only the reaction will proceed out the, re the active catalyst used here is a weakly basic amine example pyridine is used or pyrrolidine is used using a strong base if you are using a strong base in this reaction it would induce self condensation of the aldehydes or ketones if the strong bases are used in this reaction the self condensation will take place but we don't want the self condensation here we want the reaction between the active methylene compound and the aldehydes or ketones therefore the reaction can be shown as this is a benzaldehyde that is reacting with a malonic ester consisting of a ch2z this is a z group here and this is another z group here and this is a ch2 group that is a active methylene compound it is taking place in the presence of a base that is a pyrrolidine as a used here and here you can see a new double bond so carbon is attached to here so this is c double bond c and all other z group is shown here and the z group is shown here that is the same that is given here okay c o o c h 2 c h 3 and here c o o c h 2 c h 3 here water is getting eliminated okay water is eliminated here not from here it is eliminated it is eliminated from here c h 2 here h and o is getting eliminated this is this is strong this is two and the oxygen is getting eliminated this is an alpha beta unsaturated compound directly we are writing the product it is otherwise called a benzylidine malonic ester benzylidine malonic ester okay and the above this alpha beta unsaturated compound upon hydrolysis here you can see hydrolysis is drawn hydrolysis is taking place here and if it is undergoing hydrolysis and by uh, thermal decarboxylation means the removal of carbon thermal decarboxylation or uh, what will be the product or the cinnamic acid is a product that is shown here and this alpha beta unsaturated compound on undergoing hydrolysis or it is taking place hydro or it is hydro it is that the hydrolysis is taking place here if the hydrolysis is taking place then the compound will the product will be benzylidine malonic acid this is ccch4ch double bond c cooh and coh and uh, by the thermal decarboxylation the co2 is removed from this benzylidine malonic acid and the product will be cinnamic acid so that is the final product or in a general way we can show this is a reaction organical reaction as uh, this is a active methylene compound when reacted with an aldehyde or ketone in the presence of a uh, pyrrolidine and it is heated the product will be like this after that it undergoing hydrolysis and uh, getting you will get the product here and after that uh, forming the reaction alpha beta unsaturated compound anyway this is a general reaction but i think uh, this example will be easy for you to study anyway you just follow that other example is also given here if it is taking place for the cyclohexanone what will be the product but here you should throw that the two z groups are different here it is cn and this is coo c2 ch3 anyway you will get the product as uh, alpha beta 
unsaturated compound not the alpha beta unsaturated compound anyway any unsaturation is seen in this reaction that is cyclohexylidine acetic acid 